NFL DB back there using your hands a lot out there. Is that one of the things you're trying to do this week? Uh, I'm just trying to do what, what they're teaching us right now. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm trying to get better every day out here. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Any specific areas that you think you've really improved on this week or still trying to improve on? Uh, I'm still trying to improve a little bit on my off technique, you know, reading the three step better and, and my eyes. You know, my eyes get me in trouble. Get me in trouble sometimes. So that's the thing we're trying to do. What's this whole ride been like for you? Going from obviously playing in an NFC championship, having such a big play that made you, you know, an Auburn legend, and now being here for Senior Bowl. Just what, what's this last few months been like for you? You know, the last two months been great. Uh, you know, I can say my hard work I put in paid off. You know, uh, coming to the Senior Bowl being one of my goals I set uh, before the season, and I'm I'm glad to uh, come to that goal, and I'm glad to be here. What, what are you trying to prove here? What are you telling NFL teams? This is why you should draft Chris Davis. Uh, I'm trying to prove, let them know that Chris Davis is a four-down player. You know, I can play inside that corner. I mean, inside that nook and outside that corner, and I also can return punts and kicks. Do you think you have a better role outside inside? Do you think you excel in any specific capacity better than another? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, I'm a ball player. I'm a competitor, and that's what I'm going to do. I try to go out and compete each and every day. What are your goals for the rest of a week? Just anything else you're trying to improve on or really finish strong? Uh, my goals was just come out here, you know, and get better every day. Uh, try to catch a couple of eyes or a couple of scouts out here. How, how is things changed for you? Have you really seen more interest from NFL teams since that big play happened? Do you think it's really gotten more buzz generated about you? Uh, I think since that play, you know, it just it gave me the attention that I think I should have been getting in the beginning, you know. Uh, so I'm just taking advantage of that, that moment. You look forward to it, get drafted. What would that mean to you? Would it be a dream fulfilled? You know, that'll mean a lot for me. Uh, you know, a lot of people dream of playing NFL football, and I'm trying to live out that dream. Thanks so much, Chris. Right. What improvements have you seen in yourself? Uh, you know, improvements, you know, off technique, trying to improve with my eyes, put my eyes in the right place. And you know, I just come out here to try to get better every day. Who's the best wide receiver you've gone up against? You know, it's a couple good receivers out here. You know, I, ain't, I can't just single one receiver out. You know, it's competition all over the field. What edge would you say you have over some of these other players? Uh, I wouldn't say I have an edge over some of the other players. You know, uh, I got my strength and weaknesses just like any other player. Now, this past season, what did you learn from Malzahn that will transfer over to the pros? You know, uh, I learned a lot from, from that coaching staff. You know, I, I learned how to be a great father, you know, because they're great men. Uh, learn how to be a team player, you know, and learn how to do things together. You know, uh, everybody, you can't go out and play for yourself and think you're going to have the kind of success that you want. Chris, talk about those that plays that you to, to Dan. 0.1 second to Dan. 0.1 second. <laughs> D A N? Yeah. Zero. That's one second. <laughs> one second. Zero you want me to one. Yeah, sign your name. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right. Chris, I saw you had a couple of uh, like three straight pass breakups. Looked like you were getting real physical with the receivers. Can you talk about those plays when you were in one on ones? Uh, I was just going out and compete. You know, uh, I feel like I have a, had an average day yesterday, and I, I said to myself that I had to bounce back and have a great day today. And that's what I think I th came out here and did. What's your main goal that you want to accomplish here this week? Like, what's the main thing you want scouts to know about you and your game? Uh, I just want to show the scouts that I can line up and play corner and go inside and play nickel also. You know, uh, I'm a four down guy. You know, I can go back and return punts and everything. Can you talk about, you know, everybody remembers you for the play, but you know, your whole career at Auburn, you know, it's been kind of a, a lot of filled with highs and lows, a lot of adversity. How do you think that's prepared you for what this journey you're taking now and when you do get to the next level? You know, it, went no, it wasn't no easy role at Auburn. You know, uh, I had ups and downs my whole career, you know, uh, dealing with injuries. And, you know, you got to face adversity sometime. And that adversity made me the person who I am today. You know, uh, I'm a competitor, and I like to compete. Um, how would you say the atmosphere has been this week, you know, getting attention from an NFL coaching staff? Can you kind of tell the difference uh, as to, you know, being normally in college, you know, big-time program, but does it feel like it's kind of like another level here? Uh, it's it's kind of, you know, uh, from college to the NFL, you know, they got different terminology, you know, they teach different techniques. So I'm just trying to grasp everything I can and bring it out here to the field. Thanks a lot.